guys, so this is the 80 gallons last day. Now, I just fed them. They're still eating. It's literally food still on the top of the tank up there. Um, Placo's there, Krillux are there, other fish are there. And now, today is the day that I remove the Placo and Yo-Yo Lunches, not Kuri Lunches. It's the day I remove those and take them to the their new home. Uh, I'm gonna, of course, do some tests on the water before I stick them in the tank. Uh, just, you know, using my kit. Not only am I used to it, but it's more accurate than the strips they have. Uh, and then I'll basically put them in that tank afterwards or after I fix their issue if there is one. Um, yeah. I'm also gonna be putting some of the bio media from this tank in the, that one. That'll work, that'll be nice. Hopefully we'll cut down on ammonia uh, cause if I know these people well enough and I'm pretty sure I do, they're gonna wanna stock the tank as much as they can, as fast as they can, which just isn't smart at all. So extra bio media. I'm putting in three fish, I'm putting in more bio media. And yeah, hopefully that'll be it. I'll save the filter for a backup. One thing I'm taking this bio media. I don't really need the uh, filter because I have the bio media from this filter. Because I have extras. Like this. Yeah, once I do that, once I get it all squared away at the other store, probably go on a couple hours here after I take a shower. I'll uh, come back home and move the Cinepoma, the rope fish, and the Raphael catfish into that tank, but only after. I re not re re -scape. after I rescape the other tank because I just don't have the space or the, no, not the space the hiding space for uh, enough hiding places for those three for fish of that size so I will do that. It'll be done uh, later. After I'm done. Everything else. Yeah. So that's it for this part of the video. I'll put up the next part when I'm done at the other restaurant. And I'll show any videos I take. If I take any. It's a restaurant. There's going to be customers. I don't want to bother them and freak them out by pulling out my phone and recording. If I do, I'll just record like the tank or take a picture of the fish in the tank. Alright, so I am back from the other restaurant and now I can deal with this. Uh, Pimpy and the uh, Pico and two yo-yo lunches. My brain's a little messed up right now. They're there. The issues are dealt with for the most part. There was one problem that I found with their tank and 
that's being resolved. So, and it wasn't it wasn't a big issue like ammonia or anything. pH was okay. <clears throat> Sorry, pH was okay. Uh, other than that, no real issues. So, it's time for me to get some stuff down or done around here. So this tank, I'm going to reroute that. So this tank, after I do my water change, I'm going to add, or I'm going to re-scape it. I believe the plants where they are. Just gonna add some more caves. Um, I did have one issue. One issue. That's it. When I was taking the fish out of this tank, I took out most of the stuff, most of the pieces of velcro stone, because I couldn't get to the area arches and. I picked up that cave, right? Because they kept swimming behind it and under it. I couldn't get them in there. So what I did was I pulled the cave out. And originally, I put the cave on its side so I can get to the yo-yo lunches. Couldn't do that. But there's a hole in the bottom of this cave for water to enter and exit. Not a big issue, but one of the yo-yo latches swam into that hole and up and into the decoration, the uh, artificial rock, the one artificial rock that I have in this tank. And, uh, what ended up happening was I took the cave out. I didn't think there was anything in there. But I hunted down the first video lounge. I was looking through the tank and I was like, where'd the second one go? Naturally, I had that rock in here with the fake ones. Uh, then I heard a noise coming from that bucket. I had to dig every rock out to get to the bottom and find that one yo-yo lounge. It was fine. It was perfectly fine. Um, yo-yo lounges are not weak creatures. They're actually quite resilient. So I fished it out and poured it into the bag with the other yo-yo latch. I then got the Pleiko in this container, or this bucket, I should say, and immediately went to the other restaurant with my water testing supplies and whatnot. Did my water testing while I floated the bag with the yo-yo latches in it. I can make them to the temperature. Plecos aren't so sensitive. Uh, they they can handle temperature changes relatively easily, as long as it's not a drastic change. I basically just uh, emptied out most of the water and slowly acclimated it. But got it done. Got them out. I got some pictures of them. Here they are. All right, so there was one bully in that tank, and that was a koi fish. 
One koi fish decided to be a bully. And uh, it's okay. It's picking on yo-yo latches, two yo-yo latches, which are very fatty fish. They're basically their fat's like armor. And uh, a pleco. And we all know what happens with pleco once they get to a certain size. They become predatory to an extent. Opportunistic, but. So that koi fish is probably going to die. The reason it's probably going to die is because it picked a fight with the wrong fish. There was only two fish in that tank. Before I added the three, I did. And that was the koi fish and the smaller pleco. Note the word smaller. So I added a full grown pleco and the two yo yo latches. Bring the total up to five. The yo yo latches will probably, for the next week or so, try to run from it until they get used to it, in which case they're going to turn around and start biting back. Um, and the play coat, I, with Tempe, honestly, with his behavior, I only imagine it taking a day or two for that koi fish to learn not to mess with the pleco. It's, it's so simple. It's, it's a koi fish, it's, it's stupid, but you know, it, I'm sure it'll be attacked a couple times and learn to stay away. So now that I've said that, and now that I've done uh, basically screwing around with the three fish and getting them to the other restaurant, I'm going to deal with my home tanks now. And uh, yeah. Once I'm done over here, I will record more, but until then, see you in the next video.